Sorry, I, my storage just ran out. So <clears throat> there's something about there not being enough room for you and someone else in this person's life. So I don't know if this is a third party of some sort, maybe it's work, maybe it's another person. Um, <clears throat> I'm getting it's a person. We have someone spying on you, but I have, they'll be back. There's something that needs to be cleared out here before this person can come in properly. And isn't that always the case? It's like, whatever, but um, let me get some cards on this and I'll get more about what's what's happening here. I want to find out what the uncertainty is in this in this situation, okay? What's the uncertainty in this situation? What's the block? So we have the magician with the page of swords. So this particular magician speaks of choices. There are many choices that either one of you could go at this point in time. I feel like someone here is reviewing their options. They're, I feel like someone here knows that they could go forward with this connection and they're kind of seeing how they could go forward with it, but they're not exactly sold on it just yet with the page of swords i feel like because because this um this on this one it says open-minded now this person is showing up as a page at the moment they're considering they're thinking they they are definitely thinking about acting courage courageously in this situation um they are thinking about coming in but again it's from like an immature perspective i feel like with the open-minded to this person They are definitely open to the connection. Uh, ooh, damn. High Priestess, Nine of Wands. Something here is long lasting, okay? Something could have also been a very um, long lasting uh, connection already. Someone here is gaining insight or they're receiving insight perhaps from this guardian angel energy. Um, can I get more on the collective energy, please? The cycles, patience, they'll be back. The wheel of fortune in reverse. Absolutely. This is, I feel like at this time there's, you have no control over how things are going to go. Okay. And I feel like, you know, that I feel like you are kind of at the, um, at the, uh, what, what am I trying to say? Um, like the universe is gonna take this one. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it could go either way. Again though, I feel like something is kind of meant to happen here with the open your heart. Like I feel like someone's guardian angel, someone's spirit, someone, the universe is almost forcing this person's hand to do something. Something could have recently just come up that may have, um, I feel like there's a choice for this person to make whether or not they're going, I'm, why am I getting that something could be interrupted if they make the wrong choice? I'm getting like, I don't know if you have a date with this person, but I'm kind of seeing that there's, there's potential for this person to do something else rather than go on the date. Like it could be like a vacation or like a, maybe a friend came up to them and was like, hey, do you want to like do X, Y, and Z or whatever? And it was on like a day that they were supposed to see you or something like that. Yeah, Five of Pentacles. There's a Seven of Cups. It could be this person who's spying on you. Who's this spy? Who's this spy? You know, I saw her and I was like, no, not again. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone, it could be someone's wife or an ex. Um, this person is extremely unstable financially, mentally, everything, okay? Um, the, it also, this person could also be like, a, like a bad par parental figure is sometimes what the Queen of Pentacles in reverse means. It means they they could be a little too mm -mm in the head in, in order to be a good, yeah. Someone here, someone here regrets being with this person. Five of Cups. 
This person is spying on you guys. Who's this, uh, what's going on with this? Hold on, what, what am I using here? I wanna use this. Who's this, I, I wanna find out more on this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. This person wants to come in between you guys. Okay. And they will try to. And I feel like that's why they they did something at a time when um, you guys uh, may have been going on a date or were going to go on a date or something like that. It's like they knew the date for some reason. <sighs> Who's this queen? Of you know what it is too? It's like even if they don't actually know the date, it's like this person all of a sudden gets this like, this person could be pretty psychic, but they use their powers for bad. Oh my god, this person is trying to lock this person down. This could be in a, in a couple of days, weeks, or months. Okay, they're trying to lock this person down somehow. They're gonna try and make it impossible for them to do something. Um, what is this person doing or planning to do? I cannot believe this shit. Yeah, there she is, Queen of Swords. Come together, home. Okay. All right, with truth, come together and home. I'm not so much reading them with, it's almost like, I don't know if this person's separated from this person and they're trying to like get this person to come back home. So I don't know if they kicked this person out and now they're gonna be like, come home. like on the day where you guys potentially hang out or something. It's really weird. Something about the color yellow could be significant. I'm also seeing perennials, okay? I think that's how you, um, how you say it. I feel like there's this, like you see this, um, this truth card you see how she's looking? I feel like this person, in the way she's holding that sword, I really feel like this person is trying to put like a wedge in between you guys. I feel like this person is also going to make this person's root chakra. Um, oh, I'm also hearing this. I'm hearing this. If you go see this person, you better not come home. Okay, so I don't know if this person is still living with them or what. If you go see this person, you better not come home. The number 83 could be significant. Someone here could could have been born in 83, okay? Or that's someone's like house number. Ugh, this person could be a Libra, so born in October. All right. So anyway, um, how does this person feel about collective? I want to know. How does this person feel about collective? Eight of Pentacles. Man, do they want to work on stuff with you. Okay, this is Eight of Pentacles is working on something. This is like an investment. This is an investment turning around. This is knowing that if you put the work in, that it's going to come together really well. This person sees you as a really good opportunity, okay? Yeah, and also you turn them on a lot with the Ace of Wands. Okay, how does Collective feel about their person? Page of Cups in the reverse. I feel like you're confused right now. You're confused about what to feel. You're actually afraid to feel is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you might be shutting out the connection at this time due to you're not sure what, like you could feel this person that's trying to come in between you guys like you can feel their energy or you possibly have been receiving messages from them i don't know i'm feeling like you're you're really not wanting to put yourself emotionally in a spot where you could be hurt you know so you could be kind of rejecting the connection or you could just be not making any solid plans with them just because you know that something could happen okay so can I get more? What are this person's next actions towards collective, please? Okay, hangman in reverse. 
at the moment they're feeling a bit helpless and it could be because this person is telling this I, I'm getting ultimatum energy this person is telling them if you go towards collective I'm going to like kick you out of the house I'm going to do this and that they're also I'm getting this person is also lying this person may not have like the money to actually do this like if collectives person here What's the hang in reverse? Hold on a second. Eight of wands, seven of wands. All right, so this person is at the moment feeling a little helpless, okay? I feel like, I don't know if this, I don't know if you guys, if there's distance here, there could be here with the Eight of Wands, but like I feel like this person cannot take action at this time for whatever reason. I'm also feeling that this person is actually going to take action very soon. Okay, we have within seven weeks I'm getting, seven to eight weeks, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands is travel and ambition focus, Seven of Wands upright in this deck is Valor. Okay, so they wanna protect the connection, they also wanna protect you, they wanna make sure you're not hurt. Strength, they're gonna pull through. They're gonna pull through. It's interesting, the Four of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck, but in front of it is strength. So there's fear of things not going well or being canceled, but I don't really feel like the cancellation is happening. I don't know, it's, it's, it's kind of unknown at this time. I think this person really needs to make up their mind. They could be worried that if they give you any sort of actual, I don't know, it's like it's almost like they don't want to fully commit just in case it goes wrong. And I'm not saying they don't want to commit to you, but it's more like it's more like they're they're concerned if they fuck it up that you're gonna like flip out. But you know what it is? I feel like if they do not make a decision. I feel like you're just going to leave anyway. Like, I don't feel like you're going to sit around and wait for this person forever. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. All right, but what are the, what are collectives actions towards person, towards their person? Okay. Wow. Okay. There are two, I'm telling you, there's two paths that can still happen right now. I have the Ace of Wands with the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Swords in reverse with the Ace of pen, or Pentacles, okay? So from this, from this, what I'm getting is there's like two paths right here. And I feel like you do have a very sexual connection with this person here with the Ace of Wands, okay? But with the Ten of Wands, I feel like you're, you could be realizing this is just way too much more of a burden than it should be like especially if you're making things easy for them especially if you're like offering yourself to them and you're doing all these things and you're literally putting yourself on their lap and they're just like oh I don't know if I can do this yet they can do all the commitment bullshit with this person and whoever else is in their energy and it's kind of like all right dude like you know why is it that when it's with me it's like this big deal like but when it's like anyone else you're just like oh sure whatever yeah totally I'll do whatever it's like and like you could and that's why you're like page of cups members you're just confused you're like do I even fucking mean anything like what is this like why do I have to why do I have to be sitting here trying so hard to just be around you and you can't even like tell me what's going on yeah the tower is here the tower is here I feel like that's how you're gonna be to like, the, like exactly how I was. I feel like you are going to say, you either come here or you don't ever see me again. That's basically it. That's it. Yeah, absolutely. And I feel like, I feel like you're kind of needing to be insensitive at this point because collective, whoever you are, I'm getting that you have been doing nothing but being sensitive and, and going along with this person's bullshit for a long period of time. Okay. 
you're ready to move forward confidently here. I don't, it, it's almost weird. It's like, I don't think we know exactly what's going to happen yet, but I feel like whatever it is, collective, you're going to be confident in moving forward, whatever direction it's going to be. So if this person doesn't want to commit to like anything, and I'm not even saying like commit to a relationship. I'm just saying like commit to like whatever it is, like their own word. Like this person can't commit to their own word. This person resists the connection a lot because they have an imbalance in their own life. Um, I was reading an article the other day. It was like, these are the signs of a severely, uh, a, a man who is in severe, um, they just really don't like their life. Okay. And it was basically like King of Cups in reverse energy, which is like, they're unable to recognize their own emotions. When they do recognize their own emotions, they shut them down immediately. Um, they could be overly like jokingly, like they, they joke a lot when, when really they're feeling like shit. Um, they could be a workaholic. Um, there's all these like different aspects of like someone who's actually severely upset or annoyed with their own life. And that's what I'm getting this is. It's like this Queen of Pentacles here has them in fucking lockdown. I don't know. And they're, deni they're in denial that they're not happy. This person is in absolute denial that they're not happy. Whew. Okay. I don't know. This is just giving not so cool. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. What are this third party's action towards collective? Yeah, exactly. They're going to try and be extremely selfish over this person. Not a king of wands in reverse. They're going to try and keep them locked down. I'm telling you, this person does not want them to go towards you at all. I don't know what or connection this person is with them, whether it's an ex or a current wife. I don't know. And they're like in separation or they're not actually... Something here could be like very transactional because she's the queen of pentacles in reverse. Like it could just be like, okay, I'm almost getting like a situation where it could be an open relationship. They can do whatever they want, but there's kind of like limitations to it. Like they, um, because this person probably doesn't sleep with them or something is what I'm getting. Like they don't sleep with them, but they let them go off and do whatever they want. Um, as long as it doesn't like, um, affect the relationship. But they do put down rules every once in a while saying, oh, no, you can't do that with her or him or whatever. And I feel like she knows that you exist here and she is trying to shut it down. There's something about you that threatens her. Probably because you're the opposite of her is what I'm guessing. All right. So can I get more on this situation? Like, what is going to be the result of this situation, please? Okay. All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. And we have the Sun in Reverse. Collective, I am thinking that you are going to let, like, you're just going to let this person be stuck here with this person. Because I don't think that, I feel like you see that something bad is is either about to happen or is happening. And I feel like you're just done with it. There's too much hiding behind the surface here with the sun in reverse. And it's like, I feel like this, you walking away from this is going to be the best thing you can do for yourself because, um, the five of pentacles as the outcome at the current energy is not good energy. I'm just telling you, it's hardship. It's difficult times. It's like, but either way, it's, it's, it's being left out in the cold or you leaving them out in the cold. Is, is this person going to let Collective walk away? Five of Wands. What's the Five of Wands? 
and the reverse. Seven of Swords. This is really strange. Two of Cups. God. This person is so attracted to you, Collective. And like, they... Uh, yeah, here they are, the Emperor. This is weird. This person really needs to find the motivation to come towards you. It's almost like uh, this person is daydreaming about you like all the time. They're daydreaming about you. They're thinking about you. They're in regret about the past, but they're like they're like so attracted to you, and and it just the Emperor to the Empress. Oh my God, guys. All right, I need to just show you this. So here's the emperor, right? And here's the empress. You're both upright. And like in between you guys is so much chaos. So much chaos. And here's the fool though. It's like, it's like someone wants to jump in so bad. It's like, it's like you're at a pool, right? And the pool water is so nice and it's like really warm. And you're just thinking, oh my God, I really need to jump in the pool so that I can like cool down, right? And it's like, they keep wanting to do it, but they're like, oh, I don't know, it could be really cold. And then I'll be like, ooh, you know, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I don't think we're going to get an answer with this collective. I really don't. I'm not getting anything definitive from the Five of Wands in reverse and the Seven of Swords upright. Oh, no, it's in the reverse. Hold on a second. The Seven of Swords in the reverse, Five of Wands in the reverse. Oh my God, hang on a second. This person is actually gonna be honest with themselves, I think, about their feelings. Because I feel like they're going to, with the Five of Wands in reverse, like it hit over this Queen of Pentacles. So it could be very well um, that they're going to tell this person, fuck off. With it going over this person, this Queen of Pentacles here, I'm, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting, they're gonna tell them to fuck off. Okay. I think they know too that whoever, whatever threats this person is giving them, it's like not real. It's not real threats. Um, can I get more on the outcome of this situation, please? More on the outcome, please. Oh my God. Something could happen very unexpectedly. Like I'm kind of getting this person like showing up last minute being like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like I'm just like here now and sorry. TikTok, I'm telling you, this came out before. This came out before. I think this came out before for like Aquarius, Scorpio, Libra perhaps. It's like time is, no, it was Aquarius. It was Aquarius, it was two weeks ago, I remember. It was like time is running out, time to make a decision now. Okay, so I don't know who needs to hear that, but change. Oh, unexpected. Yeah, you know what I'm getting? All right. For some of you, this person, first of all, this person is trying to reach out to you telepathically. I also feel like they feel like a very soulmate-like connection with you. I'm getting like, it's gonna be last minute, this person is going to like run to you. It's gonna be like from a fucking movie or something. Like they're gonna be like, oh my God, like I'm so sorry I'm here now. And it's gonna be like this explosive moment, okay? Oh boy. What else? Threatened, okay. I feel like they also could be threatened by other people possibly being able to be with you is kind of desire, I'm telling you. I'm really seeing like this moment of someone like rushing up this, like somewhere like to your door and they're like, you know, you open the door and you both start like making out and it's like this whole like moment, right? It's just kind of like that and then just like, Desire takes over and who knows what happens. Today and music, this person could be sending you like music or... I feel like this person is going to suddenly feel the music. They're suddenly gonna face the music and they're gonna be like, oh my God, I need to go there right now. I need to go there right now and they're gonna do it. This is, uh, and you're gonna be like panicking because you're gonna be like, oh, I guess I'm not. It's gonna be, I'm telling you, it's gonna be, oh shit, they're watching your social media. It's gonna be all over social media, whatever this is, what else? Storm warning, yeah, no shit. 
yeah, again, ex-lover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Divorce final. Oh, shit. I feel like, you know what, too? If this person does come to you, this whoever they're with, I feel like, or they're just getting a divorce, something weird like that. I don't know. But I'm getting this person, because of this whole situation, is likely going to have to have a divorce or something. But, like, here we have storm warning. So this is going to be interesting. A collective, okay? I'm telling you, this is going to be one of the most interesting moments of your life, of the year, of whatever. This person, I, it's like, it's like with the waves and bounty hunter, what I'm getting out of this is this person is going to suddenly feel all of these feelings for you and need to like run at you like super hard. I don't know. This is, uh, this is pretty crazy guys. This is pretty crazy. Um, so anyway, guys, I'm going to end the reading there and I hope you enjoyed. This was very entertaining for me as well. <laughs> um, but anyway, bye. Have a nice day.